and welcome to Pupil Parliament News. My name is Mr Andrews. And my name is Mrs Taylor. And our main focus today is on Demonstrate Park Primary School Rural began protesting about banning sports cars from public roads. It seems local people in the area and MPs have now joined the campaign. Hi, I'm Tia. Hi, I'm Ella. And today we're at Devonshire Park Primary because they're having a campaign. What would happen if a child was knocked down? Feel devastated because a sports car is going over speed limit and they'd been either be injured or even killed. Why do you need to ban sports cars? Because they're dangerous and they could kill people and you won't be able to see if somebody's there because they're so low down on the road ahead. They want their local MP to take this to the Houses of Parliament. Do you think sports cars are going to be banned or not? This is Ben Renshaw at DPPS Live inter with Year 5 interviewing Assistant Head Teacher Miss Sullivan. What's your, what are your thoughts on sports cars and why? Oh, I don't like sports cars. Hugely dislike sports cars. They're far too noisy. Um, Especially at the night time when you're trying to get to sleep and there's cars speeding past your house. We are live today at DPPS for Year 5 to interview Year 4. What is your opinion on sports cars? I think it's quite reckless because um, the people, they think they have so much money and they don't really mind if they get a speed ticket because they can just pay for it and that gives them a reason to go faster. As you can see, the children are making their point quite clearly and loudly. Some of the Year 5 pupils even wrote a letter to their local councillor, Denise Reilly. Dear Mrs Denise Reilly, I am writing to you about a serious cause. Surely nobody would like the chance to be run over, would they? Initially, I accept that the fact that you and a few others may like sports cars and may want to keep them, but I and many other peers believe that they should be banned because of dreadful crashes caused by sports cars. Following from Monday scenes at GPPS, local MPs Ms Smith and Ms Martin held a surgery where local residents could come and voice their concerns. Yes, Ms Pennington. What is your opinion on sports cars being banned and why? Well, I think that they're very dangerous and they're just a problem waiting to happen. Even if there is an owner that's one of the best drivers in the world, they'll still probably be tempted to drive over the speed limit and have a car crash. Yes, Mr. Terry. What do you feel about sport cars? I feel like they should be banned on public roads since there's too much accidents involving the road loop. It is good to see local MPs involving themselves because this is an obviously serious issue involving children's safety. The local councillors took their residents' concerns so very, very seriously. So seriously, in fact, they, they gave a speech to the House of Lords. Hello and thank you for coming. My name is Ray Lavin and I am part of the campaign to ban sports cars from public roads. They cause too many accidents, mainly crashes, and could be bad for the environment by pumping up fuel or diesel, causing air pollution. I am here to raise an issue, to raise awareness for the accidents and speedings in sports cars around Devonshire Park. Madam Speaker, how would you feel if a family member is, was needlessly knocked down outside school? A park in their road by speeding sports car? I am sure you and other members of this house will agree with me. This campaign has taught us a lesson. You can always make a change no matter who you are. Over the past few months, our MPs have been receiving letters asking if this campaign can be taken forward into Parliament. With delight, I would like to say that the law has been passed. These sports cars are being banned. It looks as though the campaigning of school pupils has been an overall success with their ban on sports cars being passed. Congratulations to GPPS. I'm Mrs Taylor. And I'm Mr Andrews. And this has been Pupil Parliament News.